Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video over here on the channel by the name of Leah's, of Leah's Chill. Um, I wanted to go ahead and make a video about the new announced closure of Naruto X Boruto Ninja Tribes. Now, unfortunately, so I I've bounced off this game a couple of times now. I'm just going to leave this notice on the actual screen. Um, I bounced off this game a couple of times now. I came around the, the beginning of the game, didn't like it at all, hated it, the mechanics didn't make sense to me, I backed away immediately. Came back for the one year anniversary, it was pretty fun for a little while, but because there wasn't a surplus of content to do that was new, after two months it lost my interest. Came back for the 1.5 anniversary, and then fell off because I didn't get any of the characters, and now... After doing four single unit banners in a row, which was QB Control Mode Naruto, the, the cloak version, EMS Sasuke, Obito, and then Madara, the game officially announces closure. And so they definitely did one final hurrah and dropped a bunch of units that people found were hype, just to make that last little bit of buck before they headed on out. The Bandai Way, of course, reinvokes a great example of that. Um, and this is so sad, honestly. Any games that are taken out of their lifespan before even the second anniversary will never really get the chance to get the ball rolling. But the trouble is, both Naruto games that are out right now that exist from Bandai are awful. After Blazing died, Ninja Voltage, which is the other Naruto game that's still around, currently more than half the posts on the Reddit every single week is how does Bandai not care anymore? So, all the Naruto games pretty much got completely shafted in this process, and it sucks. But this game will officially be closed on December 15th, 2021. Um, so hey, use everything you can, because it's going to be bad. But luckily, we're going out with at least a little bit of a bang. You get a free multi every day in a grand finale. I'm hoping to at least get an Obito to show off. Um, Grand Finale campaign, everything's cheaper, you can level up characters easier, you can get more of every material because it's double the amounts you can do. They're just basically... You can do everything you'd like, feel free. Wait, what is this? We are currently investigating instances of fraudulent purchases without payment through deferred payment systems. I already have a pending order for this error to be displayed. This is people buying currency from outside of the game. I wonder why this would come out at the same time as the like announcement of the game closure. Isn't that odd? The announcement of fraudulent purchases goes alongside that. Uh, all, all I can say. Uh, I do think that is a major contributor to a lot of these games closing down. Uh, sometimes the uh, error purchases where you're able to refund it without actually pay paying the amount and getting the items is something people abuse, and that is how some vendors work. So, I wonder if that's something that impacted the performance of this game over time. But, we're gonna go ahead and do our free multi for today, then wrap on up. Um, I'm gonna record the rest of these to see if I get lucky. I would love to get a copy of QB Controlled Mode Naruto and Sasuke. Those two are the ones that I want most and did not get during the 1.5 anniversary. So, let's see if we get lucky. Um, very sad, honestly, that this game's going. Um, I think it had a good foundation, it's just they didn't add enough over time to make it so that people had a heavy investment in it. And then, as time went on, it required more and more topping up to be able to keep relevant with current metas. And so there just wasn't a way to make that back. Um, looking like we're getting a fat old shaft here. Uh, we'll tap through this extra fast. I got a new Gara, I think, SR that I didn't have before. But that meant less than it ever could have. Alright, well, I'll see if I keep keep on getting shafted every day from here on out. I guess you're not even going to release a banner to spend the rest of your currency on. You're just going to have the Legends banner to pop your Shinobi coins into. Fair enough, honestly. It, it'd be like that. But it's looking like the multi a day is going to be around for 63 days. And so I'll probably do a video of the first 30, and we'll see how that goes. Um, this sucks, honestly. And I'm sorry to the players that played this game religiously. I kind of saw a lot of the signs of... 
a game that wouldn't really make it after I looked at the foundation of this game, and so that's what made me lose a lot of my interest in it. But as a foundation, like, there's incredible units in this game. There's very, very cool ultimates and stuff like that. It's just the actual gameplay didn't have enough except for reading every unit and understanding it to be able to fight them properly, which I think is a major detriment. You have to really know the game to play the game 100%. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, very sad about this game for sure. Uh, and that's another Naruto game we're losing. If Voltage does not follow within the next year, I will eat my own shorts, because I would be very surprised. I just don't think it has much longer like this game does. But we'll see. For now, thanks for watching, take it easy, and please, Bandai, release a good Naruto game! It's not that hard.